Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment as well because all of those things do help my channel grow and I appreciate them so much. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, so I would love for you to help me get there. That would be amazing. Before I fully get started, let me mention Frugal J. She is still in Chicago with her family, helping her son reach recovery. She's been really, really stressed lately. She's got a lot going on with her son. So if you could head over to her channel, give her a watch. If you don't know, YouTubers make their money by watching the ads. So if you could head over to her channel, give her ads a watch, help her out that way. And there is a GoFundMe link down below in my description box. And that also helps her so much. So um, that I always want to say because I love her dearly and I want to make sure that she's getting all the support she can. Today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. We are heading to the Rockies game here in just a little bit, going to baseball. But I wanted to jump on here real fast and share with you what I picked up before we head out to that. It is just Braxton, my husband and I, and my parents are going. They actually invited us, and today is not a day that we have the kiddos. So we only have five of us going and not the two other kiddos, unfortunately. But I'm all ready to go in my Rockies jersey with a dress. So let's get started. First of all, I picked up some name brand cereal. It's the Dunkaroos. It is 11.3 ounces. I have never had the Dunkaroo cereal, but I liked Dunkaroos when I was younger, so they were good, and I love Cookie Crisp, and I imagine that the kids will probably enjoy that, so we started running low on our cereal stock, so I decided it's a good time to start picking some more back up. Now this one is the Golden Foods, which I believe is Dollar Tree's kind of food brand, um, if I remember, or if just, that's just what it seems like to me, but you got a lot in this one. It was 18 ounces. It's cocoa crispy rice cereal, so I assume that it's just like chocolate um, rice krispies. So hopefully that this is good. The kids have been, some of them, have been eating chocolate Cheerios lately. They're the chocolate Cheerios, like they're doing the little snack packs right now. I've seen other people haul from Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them in my stores. But um, we just got a whole box of the chocolate Cheerios and the kids have been eating that. So maybe that means they'll like this too. It was worth a try. And then Lorelai was with me. She saw this one and wanted to try it. I asked the boys if they would eat it too because you get a lot at 17 ounces. And they all said that they'd try it. I think it sounds pretty terrible. Um, it says it's Fruity Rolls Bubble Gum. Bubble Gum Ring Cereal. I think it sounds terrible. If it was fruity, like Fruit Loops, it would be good. But if it tastes like bubble gum, it just sounds awful. The packaging's really cute though. I mean, it definitely, that got my attention, but bubble gum flavored cereal just sounds not yummy. Let me know about down below if you've tried it, and then I'll try to remember to let you know what the kids think because they'll be trying it here soon. So it, I think it just sounds real interesting. Uh, when I did my haul before, planning to go camping. I had mentioned this cereal on our way out of town. I did stop at a store. I was able to find several boxes or containers of these. So I just wanted to show you they're the five packs of like the individual bowls of cereal, which are great for like camping or if you're having a sleepover and you have multiple kids that are going to have cereal and you don't know what flavors they like, this would be a fun way to kind of put out on the breakfast table for them if, you, if you're doing cereal instead of something else. And so I thought that this was really fun. You get the Honey Nut Cheerios-ish, Apple Jacks-ish, Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops, and what are the Cocoa Bowls, Cocoa Balls? I don't know what the name brand cereal of those are, but chocolate Cocoa Balls. Yeah, I can't remember what the name of um, the real brand is of those. Cocoa Puffs? Cocoa Puffs. Um, so those are fun. We had some extra, so I brought them back and figured I'd share that with you. So the kids went with me one day and we brought some sand home from Costa Rica. If you didn't see my video on our trip, I did just post that. I finally got it all edited and posted. But we did all collect some sand, just, you know, just a little bit. And the kids want to do their own little jars for them. And so Lorelai wants to do a like little kind of souvenir for her mom and then I know the boys wanted to do some for themselves and I don't know what the other ones so I let them all pick out jars so between the three of them I think they each 
grabbed one of these. I don't know for sure who grabbed what, but we got three of these ones so that they could put some of the sand in the bottom and maybe some of their shells as their keepsake. And I wanted to make sure that they were jars with lids and potentially I'll glue them on. I told them with the Cricut, we can like do Costa Rica with the Cricut, put it on the side um, or the name of the beach and like, you know, so that we know what the sand. And then they picked out two of these. So these came from the crafter section and they are the plastic jars, but again, they're for the kids. So I think that's so much better than the glass jars. And that's, that's what they picked out. Originally, they were looking at the ones they're kind of like this, but they have the smaller tops. And then I mentioned about putting seashells in there, so they all switched to the bigger top ones. So they have been waiting for me to haul that, well, to go buy them and then haul them so that they can put their, their little sand souvenirs together. This is a late share. I got these right before 4th of July, and then we ended up not doing anything for 4th of July. So now I'll just stick them in my um, 4th of July tote. But they were really fun. Um, they light up and spin like that. Um, but again, we just ended up doing nothing. Braxton was with his grandparents. Sorry, that one went to the ground. Uh, the kiddos were with their mom that day because we had just gotten back from Costa Rica. And so we just did nothing. Cameron and I just stayed at home and did not much of anything. I did pick up this round mirror. So Braxton's room is decorated by Harry Potter. And for his birthday party, we made a sign that said um do you know this wizard you know based off of the movie and we want to put a mirror in the middle and it is a rectangle cut out but i figure for now we could just stick the circle mirror in it until i get something different to put in there so i picked this up for a piece of his room i grabbed a new pair of scissors mine i don't remember what i was making but i was cutting tape of some sort and they got all sticky and i'm going to clean them off but I've had them for a long time. They're starting to get dull. And I thought that this little pattern on here was really cute. I think the jot scissors are always really, really cute. So I just needed a new pair for my desk for what I'm crafting. I finally found one of my wish list items. Some of the things that I saw people hauling and I have been wanting. And that are these metal decor pieces. And so this says it's by Greenbrier, and I know that there was some name brand ones. I saw like someone haul like the metal palm leaves. I think it was Mari from Everything Mari, and I think Jay from Frugal Jay got the palm leaves. I have not seen those yet, but I came across these metal pieces. So I'm just gonna probably put them on the top of my bookshelf in my office. I just think that they'd look neat there. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them the black and gold because I don't feel like that totally matches. I think like a rose gold would be pretty. And I do have rose gold um, spray paint. Then they could go in my room too. Um, but I just thought they were neat. They had one other shape. I didn't realize they came in so many shapes when I was watching other people haul them. They had one other one. It was kind of like like longer and then they kind of came to like a point on each side. Kind of kind of like this. But then there was like more of them and then they came more to a point. Because it was kind of round. I don't know how to describe it. But these are the two that I liked. So they're the ones that I picked up. This one's kind of like a diamond. Oh, these would be pretty for wedding decor. Two spray painted rose gold. <gasps> yeah, I might have to go see if I can come across more of them. This is the first time I've seen them. They only had a few there, but this would be cute centerpieces with my whole centerpiece idea. Um, so I was wrong about my wedding. It is not next year in 2023. It's actually in 2024. I was confused because of leap year because we are getting married on August 3rd because that is our actual wedding date and that'll be our anniversary. And because of leap year, August 3rd is Saturday of 2023 and Saturday of 2024. And so when I looked at the calendar, I saw that it was a Saturday. I was like, shoot, like how did that time go so fast? It didn't, I just didn't pay attention. So we are getting married in two summers, two years, thank goodness, because my stress level was, was going up thinking that it was sooner than it is. I found some new little hair ties by Scunchy, and this is just a really cute little butterfly print, and I picked this up to add to my basket for Happy Mail because I thought they were really cute. And then this is a matching headband. I also, though, I have my nieces now. I love having nieces that I can spoil because Lorelai won't wear this stuff in her hair anymore. 
she's you know too big she only wants scrunchies so those are both really cute with the pink the light pink and the butterfly print so picked those up and then i have seen a lot of people start hauling this and i have actually been picking these up i was waiting because there's one more set that i'm looking for and i was hoping to be able to share them all all at once but I can't find the last one I'm looking for. So I'll just share what I've picked up so far. I've been collecting the sprinkles by the Twinkle brand because for Lorelai's birthday party, it is an art themed party. And I thought how fun would it be to do decorate your own cupcakes. And so I either gonna buy or bake cupcakes, just leave a really light frosted with white frosting on them and let the kids decorate them themselves. And so I picked up this assortment of sprinkles for them to be able to do that. So I got the large candy eyeballs and the small candy eyeballs because those are cute. We do have some boys coming to the party, so it's always, you know, that think of what the boys would like as well. I picked up, there's so many in here and I hope I don't have doubles. I've been trying to pay attention to what I've been buying. The ones I'm looking for are this, oh, I do have doubles, the Spaceman ones because they're like red, white, and blue. And I feel like the Spaceman ones are more kind of boy oriented where most of these are real, real girly. And so I picked up Unicorn Party. These ones are precious. So that one you can see the real fun colors in there as well as the unicorns and the little balls. Just so many little fun colors in there. This is the other Unicorn Party and this one is just more of that pink. And you can't really tell, but there's pink cupcake sprinkles in there. So if you look kind of right there, these are pink cupcake shaped sprinkles and those are super cute. These ones are both called the Spring Breeze. And so that one has just like the pink sugar crystals and those are really, really pretty. This one has just that iridescent color it's got the long sprinkles in there super pretty I have the princess set and so this one is kind of a silver and gold and it has pink XOXO's in there as well as those like pink and gold little ball sprinkles so those are cute this is the other princess XO and this one has more of a pink, white, and gold. And then the crown sprinkles, like that. The Starry Nights. And that one's kind of like a black, kind of a blue, no, like a gray, a black, and a white mix of sprinkles. And the other Starry Nights has stars, and then white, gold, white, gold, and silver. So those are fun. And then I don't have the other over the rainbow. That one was just more the line, like over the rainbow, it's these types of sprinkles, but in this color. I don't know why I did not pick that one up, but I will. Hopefully when I find the astronaut. So every time I go, I'm looking at the sprinkles and then I ended up with a double of the Starry Nights. And then sprinkles, this one is the different brand. It's this Bakersfield, but it's purple Murado. Lorelai liked those, so we got those ones just so that we'd have some purple in there. Um, so I'm gonna play, like put them all out, and then I'll show you when I do a collective haul. I got cute little um, like easels for them to do their cupcakes on. And then I have not decided yet if I plan to allow them to use the icing gel, but I picked up the blue, the pink, and the red. And I was watching Crazy Days of Callan the other day. She talked about gingerbread houses, which I would have not thought about for these until it was too late. So I want to make sure to pick up these colors and the fun icing for gingerbread houses because we like to do those every year. And these will be so fun and easy to have on hand for that. But I picked these up. Like I said, I have not fully decided if I'm going to put these out on the table or not for the Decorate Your Own Cupcakes. But I had to pick them up because I was shopping through there. And then in the party section, I found these cupcake liners. So they get 75 of them and they just really look like watercolor paints to me. And so I thought they were perfect for this theme. So if I bake my own cupcakes, I'll probably just put them in either solid color liners or white ones and then set them in this so they look really pretty. Because I feel like when you bake in these fun ones, like you lose 
how pretty it is. Lorelai wants funfetti cake because then it has all the colors on the inside too. But we're gonna do that. Decorate your own cupcakes because it's artistic for an artsy party. I thought that that would be really fun. A few more, sorry guys, a few more snacks. Braxton was with me and he loves these apples. So he picked these up to have on hand for some snacks. Because yeah, he just loves those. And then I grabbed some of these new waters. The kids have been drinking the flavored water and their waters, whatever gets them to drink water, whatever. So I grabbed the ocean water one because we always like ocean water from Sonic. And so hopefully this is as good. And then I wonder if you mix it with like a sparkling water. So it still has the bubbles like the ocean water since they put Sprite in theirs. And then the blue raspberry starburst one. I don't know if those are good or not, but we picked them up. Oh, here's one more jar. So someone did get the jar with the smaller lid on it. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know who, whose belongs to who. They were picking them up themselves and just tossing them in the cart. Eric loves mandarin oranges. And since everyone was kind of grabbing a snack, he wanted some mandarin oranges as a snack. So I grabbed those for him. We needed to get Eric some more flip-flops because he walks and twists his feet all around and he's managed to pop out this and like cut this all up on two pairs of flip-flops this summer. So he needed an, a replacement pair before the end of the year because like I said, he just kind of, he doesn't walk on them right. He walks all discombobulated and like twists his foot all around. And so, which whatever, they're $1.25. These I was excited about. They are Sterilite cups. So they're a pack of four plastic cups. And so I'm just going to put these in our cabinet to have some more regular size plastic cups. We don't have a bunch. We mostly have glasses and then water bottles, but sometimes it's nice just to have another cup. So I thought that, that was a great deal for four cups at $1.25. Let's see boring stuff. I picked up some boxes of tissues. I always get them there and I get the ones that are going to match my house. This matches my room. This matches the whole house being in the gray. So I got both of those. I got this because I thought the colors were really fun for summer right now, finishing out the summer. And then lastly, I got the beach themed for the beach room in there because again, it matches. And so that way they all match through the rest of the year. I picked up this poster. So this one, it says, do what makes your soul happy. And then it has like a little beach theme right here. And so you guys all met our new hermit crabs when I talked about Costa Rica. Plus I've mentioned up a couple times here and there. And my thought is, is I'm going to try to cut this poster so that it gets some of this beach theme like right here and put it behind the the aquarium that they live in and then that way Jack will feel more at home that he's back at the beach again um, because they are little beach creatures and so that was my thought on this to make the aquarium just look a little bit nicer a little bit more finished they do sell things that are like the exact measurements but they're like seven or eight bucks like at PetSmart and stuff and I'm like mm -mm, I know that there's posters right now at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and I can make this work so that is the plan for that, is to make my crabbies more at home. And then I saw this, I picked up the lobster one earlier on, I hauled it quite a while ago, and then they had the matching crab, and so I thought he was cute. So they're gonna go in my beach room as a little bit more decor, because now they get the lobster has a friend. I have to do a home tour with you guys here pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing that here soonish we needed some more hand soap and this one i hadn't seen it's the antibacterial foaming hand soap i didn't realize that said antibacterial i always look for antibacterial i like foaming too because i feel like the kids waste less when it's foaming when it's this kind they just use way too much for their little hands but this is the kind that my, my husband likes so i put it his sink upstairs in the bathroom because that's his favorite I actually now want to buy more of these, so I'm going to keep an eye out for these. I don't think I had seen them before, though. So they are the antibacterial foaming hand soap, and it says that it is refreshing scent. I just honestly thought it was just that other one, but foaming. Also has a real light, faint smell to it. I picked up the Sea Breeze one from Soft Soap, and we took it to our trip, 
and it is such a strong smell on your hands after you wash your hands. I don't like it, so that's okay though. We're using it out, it's in the bathroom. Another necessity, I always buy this shampoo and conditioner, the Daily Defense Hydro, no, Hydrating Coconut. I just really like them a lot for me, for my hair, so I needed some more, so I picked them up. I picked up some fun stuff in the for your face area. Um, I found the Freeman Anti-Stress Sea Salt Mud Face Mask. And so I don't know, I, I guess anti, it's supposed to anti-stress you. I'm going to try that out. I like mud masks. I have oily skin, so mud masks typically do really well for helping pull the oil out. And so I thought I would give that a try. I picked up the Jade Eye Roller. And I've watched a couple people haul this, and I've seen differing conversations on whether or not this thing rolls so it doesn't roll on the top because that is what I saw that it just sits still but I guess what you do is you put your like oil or cream on there and then it just glides over so it's not a rolling roller because it does say jade roller but it's not a rolling roller it's just like a gliding one so I'm going to try that out. I might have bought one and put it in a gift basket. I can't remember, but that one I picked up for me. I know that there was some Milani makeup going around. I hadn't seen much of it, but I picked up this gloss because I thought it was super pretty. It's called Hypnotic Nights. Milani Hypnotic Nights. Fluorescent Light. So holographic lip topper. So I thought that it was really pretty like the pink of it and so I grabbed it and then I got this beauty global care collagen facial serum minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles I always buy these and then they sit in my bathroom and I never use them so maybe I'll remember to use this one so picked that up for the car I grabbed this so Brandy, um, Brandy Lynn Mitchell, her, she loves these. She talks very highly of this. And my cherry one I bought a long time ago ran out. So now I don't have a smell good in my car. And I do love the smell of green apple. So I think that I would probably like this. So I'm going to put this in my car and see if it smells really good in there because Brandy talks very highly of that one. And you should go check her out. She is too good of a YouTuber to have not a thousand subscribers yet. So you all should head over to Brandy Lynn Mitchell and subscribe to her because she is a doll. I love her so much. Then there's these other hair ties from Scrunchy or Scunchy. These are not necessarily my favorite ones, but I always buy ones like this to put in my car because then that way if I ever need to put my hair up, I have it. I might take off the purple one since we're going to the Rockies game in purple and I can carry it today in case I need to put my hair up. And then lastly for this haul, guys, I have some stickers. I always like their planner stickers and I look at them and these ones were in pink and gold and black and white. They have some marble look to them. So I thought that they were really cute. So I'm going to go through. I need to do my planner. I just started my new one. Mine's like on the student planner time frame. So it just started in August and I need to go through and mark everything. So um, it's time to pull out all my stickers and make sure I fill everything in. One of these I thought it was, oh, deadline. I'm like, deadline? What is a dead line? That's if you have a deadline. Sometimes, Amber, sometimes. But so they have deadline on there, slay the day, don't forget, day off, time to relax, unplug, coffee first, important goals to do, um, life is good, boss babe, get stuff done. On this side, they have idea, note to do, meet, another coffee first, important, find a way. So just really cute, fun stickers. And I hadn't seen these ones before, so they were not in my stash. So I'm going to pull out my whole planner stash and fill out my planner one of these days. 
So guys, that is my entire haul. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Again, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and help me get to 2,000 subscribers. Head over to Brandy Lynn Mitchell as well. She is amazing. Help her get to her 1,000 subscribers. She shows the best stuff. She always helps me to know what to keep my eye out for. And um, she has a 99 cent store only, or 99 cent only store near her. And so I always just like to wish that I had one when I watch those hauls because we don't have one here in Colorado. So go over, check her out. Um, leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye!